We're going to start it out. we got a half an hour to crack through what we got. So I'm going to try to set this up as quickly as possible. And then we're going to get through it by 5.30. It's going to be great. Hey, Helen. Um, let me do this here. All right. There you go. And I'm going to... Ooh, that's rough. I'm going to close that down. And then add this uh, window capture... Okay. Cool. And there you go. And I'm going to edit that. have to set this up new every time. Uh, okay. Cool. So we got our room set up. Gonna real quick, exit out to this. Uh -huh. My channel. Very nice. This. Cool. Pause that up. And right here. Coming in hot. Hot. Okay. Publish that. Go on to Trumbler. Boom. Quick one tonight. Okay. So, let's give you the quick rundown of what happened today. Um, I got up at 6 o'clock in the morning so that I could go to a charity event where we, uh, Bennett and I, went down to. Hey, cat, like, you, you want to come? Come here. Come here, baby. Did you want to talk to everybody or what? Come here. You're being kind of silly right now. Hi. You don't want me talking about what happened today, huh? You just want to... You just want to... You hate that. I hate it when I do that. Anyways, got up really early, went to an event, came back, ate lunch. Just now I got a chance to take a shower. I just got out of the shower. My hair's wet, so it's up in a hat. Um, then at 5.30, I got to get ready to go out to go over and play a game of Zombicide with some friends, so that'll be fun. And... Uh, Gonna, it's a busy day. It's a busy day. I already went to the post office uh, between the event and the lunch. So we've got a few things to open up here. Seems like everything's pretty, pretty good. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Um, hi, Helen. Hi, Frost Adder. Hi, here, kitty kitty. I don't recognize you. That's cool. Glad to have you here. Hi, Danny. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Tam Black. Uh, hey, mm, have a good time with the machine. I didn't even get a chance to start hooking that up last night. Hey, Kat. Hey, Candace. Hey, Red Star. Hey, Susanna. Uh, hey, Marie McKitty Cat is over here. Hey, um, Crystal Wolf. Hey, Bernice. Hey, Monet. Hey, Amada. Hey, Mika. Hey, what says? Hi, Lee. Said hi to Bernice, right? Hi, Bernice. Hey, Cappy Jack fan. So. Okay. It is raining as well. So if you hear like a little... <laughs> happening, that's the rain outside. It gets a little loud. Since it's going to be a fast one, I'm going to need a little... A little something. Keep me going. This broadcast brought to you by Gosling's Ginger Beer. Also by... Also, these packages are brought to you by... Companion Cosplay. God damn, that's good. Companion Cosplay. God damn, that's good. Okay. <sighs> Rain sounds are soothing. 
I don't need soothing. I need to go. I need to go. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to open this one. I don't actually know if it's a wish. I don't know if it's somebody else that sent it. It might be something that I ordered for myself. Uh, I had to get a couple of um, odds and ends for around the house. <sighs> Let's see what we got. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yes, I want this so bad. All right. So this is from... Hi, Bill. Hope this gift... I hope this gift helps you. A cracked phone screen is never good... It's never a good thing. Merry Christmas from Lee, a.k.a. Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. Because this is a cover for my new phone rations. And what that means is... I'm going to put this on here, and it's going to make it a good guy thing that I get to do. So I'm super happy about that. Um, I'm going to bring it, I'm actually going to bring it tonight to the Zombicide game, and I'm going to do it when it's not my turn. So that's going to happen. Um, yes, Marie, there will be a warning on my videos from now on. Because you never know. <laughs> When I'm going to start talking about dick butts. And I mean, that's... We're living in America. And if you believe in Jesus, then you know dicks aren't allowed in this country. Now, that's just my belief as an American. Alright? But God damn it, read the Constitution. Anyways, um... Uh, those are always super important for a phone or other device. They are super important. I need I needed a cover, and I've been using the one that came from the factory. I have a cover on there, but this one's going to be better. Uh, so let's do the next thing. This one came through the P.O. box. Looks like it's from... Caitlin in California, Cameron Park. Let's see what Caitlin sent, shall we? Not this thing. Caitlin sent. Oh dear. I remember this stuff. Caitlin sent some more stuff from the Vibes Up Corporation. Uh, Vibes Up Vibrations, the new frontier in natural solutions. We got two pamphlets here from Vibes Up. And we've got, oh, look at this. Another CD, 101 Life Ahas, as well as the other, side, the other Side of Grounding by Caitlin Keat. Oh, so this isn't from Caitlin. That was just who it was uh, shipped from. Uh, since you say how much you sweat in that costume, many have given you help for the top. How about the feet? This is from Gail. Gail Ball. And she sent me these lovely bamboo charcoal ion socks. And they're going to ionize the fucking shit out of my footballs. And when I say footballs, I mean feet. And when I say feet, I mean dick toes. So <laughs> that's why we have an adult warning on the top of this broadcast about why you can't let children watch this shit. Because I'm about to show you my dick. And I mean, by that, I mean my feet. So that's a not a, you know, a not a thing that most people would be able to handle is looking at somebody's feet because it's vulgar and disgusting. Uh, I'm immediately thinking these socks are a little small, but we're going to find out. Look at this. Look at these guys. See that? Those little guys... Uh, yeah, Vibes Up, Marie McToast and Poker, um, is, uh, it has some connotations to it. Some adult connotations. So check it out. Here's a sock. Now keep in mind, that's how big the sock is. That's gotta fit on this bad boy right here. Yeah. So let's, let's check it out. 
Yeah. Oh, all right, that fits. I mean, you can see my heel through there. They're really getting stretched to the limit. My toes are actually kind of involuntarily curling. Like, ugh, look at that. You can see that's, all right, this is my toes extended. And then if I let them relax a little bit, they actually curl up a little bit. Not in, not in the way that like a classic uh, Renaissance statue would to indicate orgasm. I'm talking about the socks are a little tight. Socks are a little bit tight. Um, but they're charged with ions? Question mark? Charged with bees? Um, Monet, it's, I wear a ten and a half. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Um, but what's it do, though? Made from healthy ion bamboo charcoal fiber. Made from healthy ion bamboo charcoal fiber. That, my friends, is not unhealthy ion charcoal bamboo fiber. You fuck. Think about, think about that! Mika, I don't like where you're going with this. Don't worry about it. Isn't that what they put into those black cheese and buns? If I had more experience with cheese buns, I would be able to tell you. I'm going back to my regular sock right now. Right now. I don't, uh, I'm a little afraid of committing to these charcoal socks. There will be another day where I take them on a proper test run, but tonight's not the night. I need to, I need to go with the tried and true. Uh, I don't have too many foot problems, honestly. Uh, the reason I kept asking for the the, uh, the moisture wicking shirts is because um, I sweat here, not so much on the legs and feet. I don't sweat much. Pretty much anywhere below my balls doesn't sweat much. So think about that. Um, it supposed to help you pull toxins out of your body through your feet, I think. Interesting. Well, we'll have to do that another day. Um, I will take those socks on a proper test run, just not tonight. Um, they're going to be a little tight tonight. But, I, I mean, although I like it tight, and I do like it tight, sweet Jesus, I like it tight. Tonight, no tight. All right. Swamp cock gone? Is that a movie you're going to be writing soon? Like Black Snake Moan? It's not cold here, Chris. It's just uh, rainy. It's rainy. It's a little chilly. Like, you can wear a jacket comfortably. Let's move on to the next package, shall we? This guy... Let me make sure it actually says my name on it. Okay. Yep, that's got, that's got Bill written on there. So let's open that guy up. Ooh, you got some some scotch tape. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Okay. You know that's to? That's to me. Alright, uh, let's see. Hmm. Didn't even... didn't You didn't lick it to seal it. You just tucked it. Like like my wife. You're not going to lick it. You're just going to tuck it in there and hope for the best. Which, you know, it's an effective plan. It takes place in a swamp. A poor chick gets lost and raised by gators. One day... He he leaves to find his true parents. Oh, a chick, not like a not like a young woman, like an actual small bird, young bird. All right, like the ugly duckling, only it's an ugly cock. 
All right, Bill, just wanted to send you a small thanks for all the time you dedicate to your followers and the time you take out of your daily life to entertain us. We greatly appreciate it. When I had someone pass away this year, it was yours and Steven's live streams and videos that helped me still be able to smile and laugh in a time of sadness, and I thank you both dearly for that. After all, it is the small things in life that matter the most. Keep up the amazing work. Uh, what you do and uh, keep keep up the amazing work that you do, and I wish you a merry very Merry Christmas and a most excellent New Year. Best wishes, Candace Nicole. P.S. Didn't realize that TV shows uh, label was on the gift, so I was packing it in the box. Didn't realize what TV shows. I don't know what that last part means, but we're going to find out in a minute. Um, the card says... For Christmas, I was going to get you a puppy, so there's probably a dead puppy in this box. But I got you this card instead, because it will never shit in your living room. Yeah! That is a Christmas card that has the word shit in it. Um, sounds like a child's movie with adult jokes. Uh, well, without... Me sounding like a total dick. It's a nice 69 degrees here in sunny Florida right now. I don't know. I'm I'm happy that it's nice and warm over there, Chris. I would never think that you're. I would never get mad at you for having nice, nice weather where you are. Interesting choice, Candace. First of all, you went with the tried and true. Lakersh. Some dirty Lakersh. Which, if you look here, these are the two you sent. And this is the bag I keep on my coffee table that I've been eating for the last couple of days. So, this, on top of the crate of it that's in my fucking kitchen right now, it's going to keep me good for a while. I may actually bring these to the game night tonight, let people enjoy uh, some liquor. But I'll let them know that it's from you. thing about it the other day was... I had some friends over. They had a couple drinks, like these. And all my glasses look like this here. They're tumblers. What happened was, I left one of them sitting in water. And what happened then was, I tried to wash it with a sponge. Guess what happened? Chipped off all the fucking shit that... Like, look at this thing. It all chipped off. There used to be a whole rectangle here. Shit that was written on there about Iron Man 3 with 3D glasses on. Because I worked on the movie and they gave us a free tumbler cup. And it fell off. That shit fell off. So then what happened? Now I'm down to glass. Then I knocked over another glass in my sink. That motherfucker broke into little fucking smithereens. Now I got no glass. Good thing for me. Now I got two new glasses. Look at this shit. I got one with the... Fucking, oh, I got the Hydra logo on that one. Nope, just, 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 that, and I've turned this one too much. Schneeld, Schneeld, and Herdra. That's those glasses to make up for the bullshit fucking low-quality Iron Man glass I lost. And I love it. I'm going to put it in my kitchen. I'm going to drink shit out of these. That's a guarantee. 100%. Bill Jack. Mm -hmm. I keep wanting to say my name. Guys. My name's Bill Jackson. Because that's who I am. And I'm, I don't care. I'm going to start saying it. Like, that's just how it has to go. So. That's who I am. That's who I care about. These are my new glasses, and I'm going to drink out of them. We've got ten minutes left. I need to open some more boxes. Thank you, Candace, for these. I love these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink. You're going to see me drinking out of these very soon. Here's the deal, though. Don't go using my first and last name all the time. Call me Bill. You can have, you can know my last name, just don't use it all the time. That's all I'm asking you. I'm saying this right now because I know you guys are the ones that interact with me like 99% of the time. 
just, just keep the fucking last name thing. It kind of, uh, just keep it in here. Keep it in your heart. Keep it in your brain and in your heart. Is it an AA meeting now? I hope these glasses improve your vision. They're, tr they're trumblers. They can't improve my vision unless I drink a vision of carrot juice out of them. Yeah, Kappa Jack, you can use it sometimes, I guess, in the right... You just don't need to use it all the time. People have a tough time not saying my last name sometimes, and it bothers me. It bothers me. Looks like we got one from Mika here. Mika used some scotch tape to seal her package as well, and it looks like it came... Oh, not close to coming undone on the way here, but... A couple of good hits in that thing. Whoa, Mika... Alright, so Mika, let me show you the size of the package first. Mika sent me this standard size mailing package. Um, and it came with this note. So let's take a look at the note. Again, ladies, you're not licking these things. Again, it's fine. You don't have to always lick it. I'm just learning a lot, I guess. Heard about that guy who got beaten in a local movie theater for this weekend for Star Wars movie? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know much about current events. Damn it, Mika. Oh, you see this? You see the sparkles sparkling on there? See those little bastards? They're sparkling all over the joint. Wishing on a Christmas star that twinkles up above. Ellipses. Oh, and there's more sparkles on the inside. Look at these. For you to have a season filled with peace and joy and love. Thank you, Mika. Merry Christmas, Bill, and pretty good cat. But uh, where's the pretty good buggy of mine? She's around. I hope you have a great Christmas and have a fantastic New Year's. To my favorite Bill, love, Mika. Thanks, Mika. <sighs> Breaks my heart. Okay. What's this? Now, that Christmas card, equally good, does not have the word shit in it. Just goes to show you the diversity of word. A lot of different ways you can approach Christmas. No. Marie McPoop and Snoop? You don't need to lick shit you don't want to lick. I'm just making some observations. <sighs> okay. I'm going to make my way through this. Oh my god, there's like a hundred things in here. First thing Mika sent is... Some calipers. These are enormous. I didn't realize they were going to be this big. So calipers are crucial for taking measurements when you're doing like a sculpture or something. And what you can do is take the, the all the tape and shit. You got tape on there. You just you just gotta there's tape and sometimes you. Uh, yeah, what? Measuring, you can measure your head with it. You could measure it, a brain pan with it. So what you do is, if like I want to measure the distance between like my uh, eye and my nose or something, or like the width of my eye, right? I take this, and then I move over this side. Looks about right. Looks about the same. Now I still have to take this other tape bullshit off. Like here, God, there we go, wake up. God damn it, Mika! I got four minutes. I gotta unwrap a whole ton of shit. So this is a measuring tool, and they're precision instruments until I bend them, trying to take tape off of them. Uh, so just keep that in mind. That I'm gonna have to bend these back in place a little bit, but about right, should go like that ish. And basically, they're just to hold a measurement so that you can compare side to side what's going on. I uh, didn't notice the card wasn't sealed. Guess he didn't want to lick it, 
but hey, no glitter. <laughs> well, thanks, Candace. I mean, uh, either way, the, the envelope arrived, and it was sealed. Just wasn't sealed with human spittle, which is actually better, I think. You know what? It may be a superior method. I just produced a little, little spittle. Okay, next up. Ooh, I've been waiting for this one. So check this out. This is Invincible Volumes 19 and 21. And because I hadn't, I didn't have 19 previous to this, uh, I actually started reading Sandman. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, Sandman is fucking cool. Like, Sandman is a great comic. And I'm, I'm glad uh, I started reading it. So you may soon see some new Sandman volumes uh, arriving on my, on my wish list. So 19, uh, I'm going to start cracking away on this one just as soon as I finish Sandman Volume 2, because this is getting, uh, Invincible's coming to a really interesting place right now, plot-wise, and I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, okay, next up is this guy. It's a tin, and it's got some stuff in it. Let's see what's in there. Holy crap. It's a bunch of dookie, guys. Mika pooped in a box for two months and sent me a whole bunch of stinky doo-doo. No, this is actually fudge. <laughs> it's fudge. It's not dookie balls. Wow. Very chocolatey. Woo! A lot of chocolate. Okay. I'm going to probably go over a little bit on this broadcast, but we're still going to go fast. I can't, just try, this is very rich. This is probably also coming with me tonight, to the game night, because there's no possible way I'm going to eat all this fudge. I'm going to bring the first couple of vegetables on Monday. Monday? Monday, the... Cat, yeah. Um, whatever, whatever, just remind me. Just remind me and I'll bring whatever you need. Okay? Here's another thing from Mika's package. Ooh. What we have here, it's a scarf. It's a nice soft scarf. Come around again if I wanted to. Oh. Hi, guys. Check out my new skirt. Oh, oh, Monday. That's right, Monday. Monday's the 21st. Yes, I will bring a couple of Invincibles with me. And it'll be great. And you're going to love it. I'll bring the ones Tim sent me. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't guide me. Mm 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 Just make sure, though, in case it's from somebody else. Uh, uh, just to open it. Yeah, that's something I needed for my car. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to talk about that one because it's just a thing I got for my car. All right, last one we're gonna open up is from Helen. And I'm going to open it up real quick. We're actually a minute over our deadline already. Oh, you little son of a bitch. So this is from Helen. Uh, this is a character for Zombicide named Will. And if you can't recognize him, then you probably don't watch Big Bang Theory, just like I don't. Uh, and it's that kid with the stupid haircut. So, Will. 
Don't spend this Molotov like you can loot one any time. It's a rare drop, noob. Oh, I see. Will earned his job as a video game designer. He served his stint as a noob trainee, spending more time carrying coffee than programming, just to become a useless probationer with a right to make photocopies. After three difficult years, he finally got a full-time job and his own noob trainee. Only his passion for video games, and above all, zombie video games, gave him the will to endure this. Now that zombies have come for real, everything is perfect, except for his noob teammates, who often refuse to share the interesting rare drops. But Will knows he can train them to the top tier. It's a little bit too much video game terminology, if you ask me. Um, but, he's going to be a cool character. What the hell? And he comes with two, like, special weapons. Holy crap. Molotov effect. Discard after use. It's got a range to two to three. This is crazy. So check this out. He comes with a rocket launcher. And it works like... A Molotov that has a range of two or three. This is like impossible. This is like a super weapon. That's crazy. And here's his little figures. He's got his regular version, which is him with a rocket launcher. And he's got his, uh, his undead version, which is pretty cool as well. <clears throat> wow, that's a, that's a game changer right there. So thank you, Helen, for that. Uh, looking at the size and shape of the rest of the packages, I'm willing to bet you're going to see at least a couple more. Um, excuse me. Sorry, I drank that ginger beer too fast. You're going to see a couple more Zombicide characters. Um, um, becoming a scarf hoarder very slowly, okay. I hope not the budget of what you said you'd buy. I hope it's not those pocket things you said you'd buy. <laughs> no, it's just a thing. It's a thing for my car. Don't worry about it. Um, let's see. I had a feeling it would be Zombicide. Hey, all. I made it to the end. Thanks for coming, Zio. Never heard the word noob been used so much. Right, Danny? It's crazy. Hey, Susan. Um... Yeah, it's, uh, they really hit that new word hard. Uh, well, I meant in the, what I meant in the card was that I didn't realize the glasses had an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. logo on the front of the box until we were packing it. Well, I mean, it's S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA. I have nothing against S.H.I.E.L.D. or HYDRA. It's just specifically the TV show, which, I mean, these... Yeah, it does, it does technically say Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. there, but I don't care. I know what the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo stands for, and it's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have to be taken as, well, I watch the show, and I do watch the show, but uh, I do now, anyways, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with S.H.I.E.L.D., there's nothing wrong with HYDRA, I, I support both of those things, I just don't... Uh, uh, slightly OP, gotta test them out now, it's a pleasure, you're excused not to self, don't fuck with Will and Zombicide. Uh, super kill glasses to have in, a, in the end. Yeah, they're really cool. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my big game of Zombicide, and I'm going to grab some licorice, and some fudge, and some s'mores, and a s'more maker guy, and I'm going to bring all that stuff over to my buddy's house and play Zombicide now. So we're a little over time, but I'm glad I got to spend this time with you guys tonight. Um, I may not broadcast again until monday -ish. Probably late Monday night, because uh, i got to do a podcast. So I'll probably talk to you guys after the podcast, but... 
if I can find a reason to, maybe we'll find a, you know, we'll do a periscope or something tomorrow. We'll figure it out. Um, uh, what other shows do you watch? Uh, I, re I recommend House of Cards, Sarah, if, if you need a show to watch. Uh, so you guys have a good night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Miss you. Love you. Bye.